Hey everybody, let's take a look at something. It's very interesting, kind of weird possibly, but this is called order of operations. And at some point, you know, I don't know when it was, but years ago, mathematicians around the world, uh, let's say they're working together to solve some problem or whatever it is. And they speak different languages and maybe they, uh, you know, uh, they want to make sure, how do you guys do things over there or this and that? Let's, let's get something, just let's, let's standardize it. So we're all doing the same thing. We all know what we're doing. We, there's no surprises, okay? Um, they would look at this and go, well, okay, I have a problem here and it's going to be four plus three times five. And one of the guys went, okay, well, fine, that's going to be four plus three, that's going to be seven. Uh, seven times five is 35, okay, and there we go. And the other scientist goes, okay, uh, let's see here, four plus three times five. Yeah, we're going to do three times five, it's going to be 15. Four plus 15 is going to be 19. And then one guy gets confused, he gives the other guy some kind of a chemical formula. Hey, this is the number of drops I, you know, and then, uh, then all of a sudden it's a thermonuclear war. Okay, so rather than thermonuclear war, we, just, we think that order of operations should be taught to avoid that kind of stuff. Okay, so you should probably be familiar with that kind of thing. You might have heard of this before. They've been doing this since when I went to school back in uh, 20 BC. All right, this is the order of operations. If you want to write this down, then pause it and write it down. This P stands for parentheses. Those are first. Then exponents. Then you just multiply and divide. You can do that if you want, just left to right. Just do that next. And then this is kind of one as well. Add and subtract, that's left to right as well. Okay. So if you look at this one, you got four plus three times five. Well, if you look, you've got two operations. You've got adding and you've got multiplying. So this comes before addition. So this is the way that we are going to do it. We're going to say it's going to be four plus 15, which is 19. So we don't all blow up each other, which would be unkind and unfortunate. Probably. Okay. All right. That's the order of operations. Okay. Now go ahead and pause it if you want and write this down. Okay. This expression, um, and that's what this is called. This is called an expression. Something with an equal sign is called an equation. We'll, we'll get to equations later on. But this, we're going to have to figure out because there are, gosh, if you didn't do it right, there's so many ways you could do this. But we're going to look at this and go, okay, do I subtract first or what's next? Oh, multiplication. I'm going to do that first. And then I have addition. No, no, wait, no, wait. There's no multiplication. I'm going to do those first. Okay, so there we go. So you're going to do those first. And then you're going to subtract and add left to right. Now, if you, I would strongly recommend don't try to do all this in your head at one because you're going to look back and go, what? I'm getting half of these wrong. What's going on? And all it is is just arithmetic that you're trying to do all in your head. So just write a little step here. So I'd write 41 minus 3 times 5 plus 4 times 6. And 41 minus 15 is 26 plus 24. That's 50. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's try another one. Go ahead and write this down. Pause it. Okay. Same thing. Look at this. I mean, you know what? We should just do this for the heck of it. 4 plus 5, this is wrong, by the way. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. That's 25. Times 4 is 100. Plus 6 is 106. 106 times 3 is 318. Okay? Let's say you're an international scientist. All right? Let's, but we know the real uh, order of operations is to do the multiplication first. Right? We're going to do that first. I don't see any division in here, parentheses or exponents, so we're good. So let's do it little by little. 4 plus 15 minus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 6 times 3 is 18. Okay, so all these are pluses and minuses now, so you can just go left to right. 4 plus 15 is 19. 19 minus 8 is 11. 11 plus 18 is 29. Okay. All right, doctor, put 29 drops of this chemical in this. Uh, oh, doctor, put 318. Oh, no, okay, there we go. So you want to avoid any international incidents if possible. Okay, so that's what order of operations does. Okay, all right. Look on page 105. Try those and uh, pause it and come back. Okay, well, the first one, of course, we're going to do multiplication first. So we got th this one and we got this one. So we have four plus 3 times 6 18 minus 6. 4 plus 18 
And by the way, if when you get to this point, you can do it in any order you want, just as long as you keep the numbers together. In other words, you, you could say 18 minus 6 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. Or you could do 4 plus 18 is 22, minus 6 is 16. So the answer to A is 16. Okay, pause it and try B. All right, same thing here. Let's do that first and then that. So we have 2 plus 18 minus 12. So, and again, you can do any order you want as long as you're doing this consistently and correctly. So we'll just do it left to right. That's 20. 20 minus 12 is 8. There you go. Order of operations. No thermonuclear war today. Okay. Have a good day. Be nice to mom and your brothers and sisters. Okay. Say hi to them and uh, do something nice. See you next time. Bye.